Hi, I'm Rick with Fishbrain, and I want to talk to you about the regulations that we've added now to the web apps. If you go to fishbrain.com forward slash explore, you'll see the regulations. So regulations that we have, um, we cover Maine to Texas, all the East Coast, saltwater. Um, we have California, we've got the U.S. Caribbean, Hawaii, and the Bahamas. And freshwater, we have all the Gulf states, so Texas, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, and Florida. And we're adding more every month. We just added North Dakota, and we're adding more and more. Now, regulations are important. They're important because, you know, you don't want to get a ticket, right? Um, so obviously that's important, but also it's important because we want fish to stay in the ocean and in the rivers, right? So in, from a sustainability perspective, we want to make sure every time we drop a hook in the, in the water, we can catch something. And um, so regulations are important from that sustainability perspective too, that make sure there's always fish in the water. So um, what you see here is fishbrain.com forward slash explore, which is our map interface. Um, it has lots and lots of features that we can cover another day, but, um, today I just want to point out regulations. So if you see over here on the left, you got the regulation tab. And if you tap that, what happens is it, it slides out and it shows you all the regulations that are regulated in the area we're looking at. So you'll see this crosshair over here. I, I can move it around. I'm over here in the Jupiter inlet right here in Florida. And so all of these species are regulated in that spot. Um, and, and it's really important, um, that it is location based because for example, where I'm at right now, puffer fish, I can't uh, catch it. But if I go just a few hundred yards South to Palm beach County, I can actually here, I'll just go ahead and show it to you. Look, I'm, I'm going to search for puffer fish. There it is. This is going to be right where the crosshair is at, which is, um, the Jupiter inlet. And you see it's open, but if I move this up here to Martin County, Boom, there you go. It is unlawful to harvest, possess, land, purchase, sell, or exchange this species in Martin County. So really important um, on that note. So let's uh, let's go back here and look at a couple, couple things. Let's look at Greater Amberjack, for example. So when you see the regulations, it'll tell you the general state regulation boundary you're in, and you can tap that to see more information on different boundaries. Um, the latitude and longitude of the crosshairs that you see on the map. And then you have these tiles here that tell you if the season's open, what the bag limit is, vessel limit. And th there can be a lot more of these tiles depending on the regulation. Sometimes it'll tell you what gear is prohibited. Um, and if you're not sure what something means, like for example, measurement is fork length. If you don't know what that is, you can click the little eye here. Boom, you get a pop-up, tells you what it is. And that's true for any of this stuff. The special gear, you need to use a dehooking device. Um, and then... As well, there's there's additional things you have here, like the required licenses, additional information, edibility, synonyms, stuff like that that you can find um, for the species. And if I if I move the crosshair around, let's just zoom out here. Now I'm in federal waters. You'll see it says South Atlantic federal waters because I'm past the state line. And there's uh, different regulations there. But you know what I can do? I can move this all the way over here to the Gulf Coast. Oh, and look at that. Amberjack is closed in the Gulf Coast. And if you want to know what those seasons are, you can tap on it and it'll tell you what the closed seasons are for that species. So it's very useful, very handy, and it's all location-based. So it helps you really quickly know, hey, I'm going to go fish here. What are the regulations? And finally, just, just so I can show you just the different regulations. So I'm going to go down here just north of Key West. And there's some special zones here. Um, you'll see here if I tap on... Well, let's go to the state waters here. If I tap on this, it'll say, hey, special permit zone. So that, that means there's a special zone in here that applies actually to the permit. Um, so that we figure all that out for you. You don't have to figure out all the different zones and which zone overrides this other zone and all these really hassles that happen with regulations. All you got to do is set the, the crosshair where you want to go fish, and we'll tell you um, what the regulations are, what's legal, what's not legal make it easy for you because we want you to fish without fear.